Hello everybody, my name is Bumi Goldson. This video is part of a series that we are doing on Masech Sukkah. We are learning in Rabbi Lif's Yeshiva in Beit Shemesh. In this video, we will be discussing the case of the Itztaba along the back wall of the Sukkah. Let's first see the Gemara inside. We are on Daf Dalet Amad Aleph, in the middle of the page. The Gemara says, Haisa Gavol Mi Esrem Amo, Ubanaba Itztaba Kinege Doifen Emtsoi, Alpenikula, Vyesh Ba Hechsher Sukkah, Kshera. Yeah, Isaka was taller than 20 Amos, which is normally a puzzle. And he built a Itztaba, which is some kind of a platform or stage, along the middle wall. We're talking about a sukkah that has three walls. So here, let's say the left wall, the back wall, and the right wall. The back wall is what the Gemara means when it calls the middle wall, because it's the middle between these two walls. Now, the sukkah was over 20 amos tall. Let's make our sukkah 20 amos tall. Now we have a sukkah that's 20 amos tall, which is normally a puzzle. In order to capture the sukkah, we built an itztaba along the back wall. What was the point of the itztaba? Because the distance from the itztaba to the ceiling is now less than 20 amos tall. From the top of the itztaba until the ceiling, it's less than 20 amos tall. So the Gemara says that the sukkah is kosher. What part of the sukkah is kosher? So Rashi says, Kishera, call ha sukkah, the whole sukkah. Sheesh la gimel defanois, it has three walls. Vai hechsher sukkah. Afilu mina itztaba vahala. Even from the itztaba and onward is kosher. Not only is on top of the itztaba kosher, but even the rest of the sukkah next to the itztaba is kosher. Why? So Raji bases this on the concept of psal ayotzim in a sukkah. What is a psal ayotzim in a sukkah? Let's say you have a regular sukkah that has one, two, three walls. But one of your walls is a little bit longer, and the schach comes out with it. So the special din of psal is that not only is the regular part of the sukkah kosher, but even the area where the wall extends and where the schach extends is also kosher. The prisoner is saying this part of the sukkah, he only has two walls, one and two. He's missing the third wall over here. But that is the special din of psal yetzim in a sukkah. So to by us, even though the the walls next to the bottom of the itztaba are greater than 20 amos tall, but still, this part of the sukkah, the part on top of the itztaba, which is kosher, makes the bottom part kosher as well. This is how Rashi understands it. The Ran says, how does Rashi know that this is true? So the Ran says, because... If the Gemara meant that only on top of the Yitzhah was kosher and the rest of the sukkah was not, then what would be the Chiddush? To tell me that the top of the, of the Yitzhah is kosher? Of course the top of it is kosher. It has three walls. It's the right size. It's big enough. And it's less than 20 amos to the ceiling. So what's the problem? So the Ran says that's the proof of Rashi. But the Ran disagrees. And the Ran says, in fact, the rest of the sukkah is puzzle. Because when we spoke about the case of Psal, that was a very specific case where we had one wall extending beyond the regular sukkah. So over there, even though we're missing the third wall, if someone standing in that part of the sukkah is missing a third wall, that's the case of Psal, which is kosher. But you can't extend that to this case. You can only apply the din of Psal in the case where Chazal told us, which was an extended wall, not in a case where the walls are too high. Rashi understands that the similarity in the cases is that there's a psul in the walls. Just like by psal, you're missing a wall, that's a psul in the walls. So too here, where the walls are too high, that's a psul in the walls. But the Ron says we can't compare these two cases because they're not exactly the same. But what about the Ron's question that he asked? If the Gemara only means to tell me that the top of the Yitzhaba is kosher and the rest is still psal, what's the Chiddush? So the Ran says, the Chiddush is, is that we would think that we should make a gezera to pass the top of the Itztaba so that someone doesn't come to make a mistake and eat in the rest of the sukkah. 
In summary, the Gemara said that when you have a sukkah that's taller than 20 amos, and you build an itztaba, that between the top of the itztaba and the top of the sukkah is less than 20 amos, the Gemara said, it's kosher. Rashi said, even the rest of the sukkah is kosher. Like the case of Psala Yotzim in a sukkah. The Ran brings a proof for Rashi, because if the Gemara meant to only kosher the top of the itztaba, and not the rest of the sukkah, what would be the Chiddush? But the Ran disagrees with Rashi and says that you can only apply the din of Psal in an actual case that the Gemara spoke about, but not in this new case. As to the question of if only the top of the Yitzvah is kosher, what's the Chiddush? The Ran answers that the Chiddush is we would think to make a gazera, not to allow someone to eat or sleep on top of the Yitzvah so that they don't come to eat or sleep in the rest of the sukkah. How does the Shulchan Aruch Paskin? So let's go to Simon Tufresh Lamed Gimel, Sif Hey, and it says Ha'isa Gavoa Michaf Ubana Ba Itztaba Kenege Doifenayim Tzoi Al Pnei Kula Uba Shir Sukkah Kishera Kol Hasukkah Afilu Me Itztaba Vehala. If the sukkah is more than twenty amos, and he builds a itztaba along the back wall. And it has it has a shear of a kosher sukkah. It's kosher. The whole sukkah is kosher. Even beyond the itztaba. Just like Rashi said. If you look in the Baragola, Oisiyod, he brings the tour. Shame Rashi. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to come to a shear given in a similar style, or if you want to learn how to make these kind of videos, come join us in the afternoon program in Rebbe Lifsi Shiva in Bichemesh. Thank you and have a good day.